What's up everybody? This is Mark Tune and today I'm going to answer some of your questions which most of you guys have been asking me on social media like Facebook, Instagram and so but before we get started I want you to know that in this channel I create Photoshop tutorials and digital art tutorial or just digital art tutorials or art tutorials so if you are new to this channel make sure to make use of the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button make use of the notification bell icon so that you get notified anytime i drop a new video so the first question i will be answering here today is um what software do i always use i've got this question multiple times from two three or even more than four people on Facebook, what software do I usually use? Okay, the answer is very simple. I'm a fan of the Adobe product since 2015, and um, <clears throat> I've been using Photoshop since 2015. So ever since then, I'm getting into Photoshop. I've never changed program, trying to make use of any other program. So instead, I go into the Adobe product fully, making use of Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and some other of their products. So the current software I use in most of my works, including the artwork, my designs, my caricature, and so on, has been Photoshop all the way long. No any, no any other software. You always get confused because of my workspace. I always play around with my workspace at a particular time to suit my need at that moment because most times whenever I want to work I feel like my workspace is not just okay to me at this point so I just change it to what I like that's why most times when you look at my workspace you see that it's messy sometimes it's well arranged sometimes and it's just slightly different from yours I always play around in my workspace and most of the settings in Photoshop I always play around with them to just suit my own need and not really yours. Maybe some other time I'm going to make a video on how I go about, you know, changing some settings in my own Photoshop. So the second question I will be answering today is going to be, do you teach people or can you teach me? Alright, so recently I've got lots of questions even on YouTube or comments or what I'm going to say or whatever. Most people always say slow down your video in most cases because I don't really know if you are trying to show us your skill or you are trying to teach. You know, it's all, it always depends on the kind of work I'm doing. That's just the point. So, because... If I try to slow down the video at every given time, you get bored. Like, if I try to slow down this video now, it's really going to be bored for you watching this video. Because I spend almost two hours working on this. Not just almost, just two hours working on this. Most of my artworks, like, let's say, the last caricature I did upload was about, altogether was four hours even up to five because after making the caricature i used it to make a music cover which you can see as the thumbnail of the video which i just put so i decided to always speed up the video to at least something you guys can grab from that is up to 30 minutes or maybe 45 minutes but i have most videos that go into details of what i do in my caricature video like there, there is one i make I guess that should be last two months or probably I really don't know when I make that video but that was about 45 or 35 minutes long so that you guys will be able to see what I do and how I do that but before this video gets to the ending I'm going to give you a breakdown of the new process which I used in making my caricatures recently so for that i really want to teach people i already have a photoshop class on skillshare and i do post most of photoshop classes or photoshop tutorials on my channel you can check them out because i have various playlists on my channel even my cartoon tutorials or my cartoon video i also have an in-depth video but there is no voiceover it's just a speed ad but it's well detailed when you look at that, you will be able to grab most of my skills or most of everything I used when I work in Photoshop. And if you are talking about the way I smudge, I also make a video 
of how I smudge in Photoshop. Just that the difference is going to be there. I make use of a plugin which is the Nick Collection, which you guys might not have, but you can go around and get the Nick Collection, which is almost everywhere you can get that. I make use of the Nick Collection, and in that video, I also show you a walk around. If you don't have the Nick Collection, this is what you are going to do. I always I use that most of the times. Like I use that in when I was creating the pyramid cunning caricature and some other caricature. I use that method before I start making use of the color fx pro in the nick collection so i guess to those of you who has really asked me this question i really do want to teach you guys so because recently i don't want to upload most of those videos on youtube because i have so many classes on photoshop that i really want to share but i don't want to upload them on youtube because first it's really going to be bored for you guys and there is no soundtrack there is nothing it's just going to be based on one topic so i don't just want to post other stuff that's why i pick out from different places of photoshop to upload into my channel and recently i've been planning on adding up some things you can see the last video i uploaded is about animating in photoshop i'll be making more of that video recently because most people has asked that has have asked that same question how to animate it is most times it say photoshop is used for animation or we do see people animating in photoshop how is that possible because there are various ways you can animate into photoshop so the moment i keep going creating creating the animation in photoshop series tutorial i will go in depth on some part and how you can animate your artwork or some image inside of photoshop so i really guess that's the questions i can remember recently or so on i really don't know but the most questions i get always always and always is what software you make use of and then do you always have tutorial on your video yes i always have tutorial of my video i always record them but the issue is that it's always in the speed video so you just have to be calm and so okay back into this video so what i did at the beginning i get the image from instagram most of you know this guy his name is davido one of the top nigeria singers recently winning and so on i get the picture from his instagram page which i'm going to leave a link in the description below that is if you want to practice on that i get the picture from instagram import into photoshop erase the background and after erasing the background I cut out the head, expand the head, and play around with the liquify. And after playing around with the liquify, doing some kind of modification I want to do, and so on. Then I mesh the head that I have expand and the body together. That is after shrinking the body or doing any modification to the size of the body and the head. I mesh them into one single layer, merging the head and the body into one single layer. Then I convert that into a smart object so that when I resize, <coughs> when I resize, it's going to retain its quality. The quality will not drop in that I resize it or I, resize, I scale it or I will downscale it. It's not going to reduce its quality. So after doing that, I double click on the smart object to open it on a new window. We all know the smart object, how the smart object works in Photoshop. When you have a smart object, you can double click on that smart object or the thumbnail of that smart object and go into the smart object layer and when you go into the smart object it will open up as a new document and from there you can make any modification to that smart object or whatever it's in that smart object and hit the control s on your keyboard to save it and it's going to update in your current document now that smart object has been what i've been making use of recently so if you've seen me going from windows to windows on my caricature or my recent artworks that i've been doing in photoshop it's all about the smart object because i really don't want that to lose so much quality you know there are times i work when i work i lose so much quality so i really don't want that to continue so i change my size the size of the work that i make use of that is my canvas size or my document size i changed that recently to a hd and the resolution and start making use of the smart object so that i got a high quality product at the end of my artwork so after converting that into a smart object i go into the smart object by double clicking on the thumbnail of the smart object it opens up in a new window so i just take out my own window because i like working on full screen mode most times that's why i pull out my panels and i hang them on different places so i take that out so after doing that 
I go into the smart object and I apply the color FX Pro filter. Then from the color FX Pro filter, I make use of the HDR like, which it's on the video that I said how I smudge in Photoshop. So you can check out that video from the link below. I make use of the HDR like filter and I add up some kind of filter to increasing need or probably decreasing need, but just play around to give me something that I like. And after that, I grab the smooth skin smudge brush and I start smudging all over the faces, which is just what you are seeing right now and what I'm doing right here. You know, I go around the skin first before touching the eyes and so on. You know, when you are smudging, you don't want to smudge out the main detail part, like the side of the nose, the eyes and so on. You just want to take out your time and go back to it, do all those things little by little when you just smudge everything once and for all it's not really going to make any sense so when you smudge out everything you are going to lose quality in that particular area or making your image very very flat which is not really making any sense I think back to all the better days When I used to be young and free I remember her like it was yesterday She was so beautiful to me In my mind sometimes I'll run away To this time back in history She reminds me of the summertime Way back in 2003 Hey, She was a cutie in a sundress I told her I just had to confess I got a crush on you, darling Them long tan legs got me falling And I know, and I know we just met Yeah, yeah But I heard that love at first sight ain't a man Oh no, yeah I wanna take you out on a dance floor, girl I wanna hear you screaming out for some more, girl I wanna do something that they call crazy Call you my baby, my pretty lady I wanna be with you until we're fucking 80 I wanna watch the sunset with you daily Keep my baby safe as we live, always chasing Hearts racing, when I'm with you, I'm just saying I'm Back to all the better days When I used to be young and free I remember her like it was yesterday She was so beautiful to me In my mind sometimes I'll run away To this time back in history She reminds me of the summertime Way back in 2003 I've been chilling on the coast with my homegirl The palm trees and the time moving slow, girl Back to my place, hey, you can call it home, girl Okay, now that I'm done smudging, I hit the Ctrl S on my keyboard and I switch back into the main document. As you can see right now, everything I did here has just updates in the main document I am working on. So now it's time to work on the beards because the way the beard is looking, it's not really making any sense. So I just have to work on the beard so that it's going to bring back the details of the beard and making it look nice. And secondly, when you are working on something like this, you know, your, pro, your, your source image is not that clear. It's something that is not really looking so good and you don't want your product, your end product to look the same way. So you just have to what, modify everything that is necessary on 
your document so that's just exactly what i'm doing right here now looking at the beard it's not really looking so good so i make use of the pen to to make a selection run to create a nice shape of the beard and i grab the brush too and i set that to a five percent and start going around the beards to what giving it a nice look with the word foreground color set to black and start with creating a stroke around the beard just to what fit that and if you're wondering that my selection is not showing and the brush it's not going out of the selection that i made is just that i would hide the selection by hitting on ctrl plus h on my keyboard to hide the selection but the selection is still active at this point so these beards that i'm putting i put this on a separate layer and i set that layer to a clipping mask below the main image layer that i have Right now in the moment, so we live it. I've been okay, I've been alright. I've been getting down with this girl for a minute. Moving all around with this girl, gonna miss it. Living right now for the memories, it's getting. It's getting. We know how to have a good time. We're drinking all night in the summer when the air's nice. Every day is a new life. We live it so right. Skinny dipping by the poolside. We know how to have a good time. We're drinking all night in the summer when the air's nice. Every day. It's a new life, we live it so right Skinny dipping by the poolside Hand me the tequila cause I'm feeling like a Mexican After working on the beards and I see that the eyes are not really looking so nice Then I double click on the smart object layer again to go back into the smart To go back into the smart object document and smudge out the word the eyebrows so that I can create a new eyebrows that's really going to look nice and I grab the word hairbrush and I create a high, a, an eyebrow that's really going to be nice that will suit the condition of my artwork you know most times when you start working you really don't know things that you are going to do in that work but you just know where you're heading to so wherever, wherever you're heading to you just have to follow all the process to make sure you achieve what you want to achieve even if you develop a new process it doesn't really matter you just have to work. make sure you achieve what you have in mind so right now after doing the eyebrow i started making a stroke along the eyes to work. brighten up the eyes or to make the eyes a little bit sharp so i'm using the, word, the eyelashes and the eyeball and i'm making use of one of the stroke brushes which i downloaded recently so i did this along the two eyes no, I need nothing supposed to be something so close to me Jumping down in the worst kind of way You took all of my time and didn't give it back to me Wasn't enough, and I don't know what to say You wanna fall in love, but don't wanna feel the pain And I'm so low, cause I don't know If I'm alone, if I'm unknown But I won't go, no I won't go Never gonna slow me down cause I feel alive now Now after doing the eyelashes and the eyeball or the poopy, I mean to say the poopy, not the eyeball So I create a new layer and I start making the eyeballs by applying the white on both layers And after doing all this stuff, I load the opacity down a little bit because 
looking at it it's not really looking so real it's kind of looking at it fish here so i just have to load the opacity of that layer for it to blend in with the main iris to give it a nice depth or to make it look real and nice then now after doing everything i make a stack visible copy of everything by hitting ctrl alt plus e on my keyboard ctrl shift plus alt e on my keyboard then convert that into a smart object and i go over to the filter and apply the oil printing filter so that i can work on the cloth because the cloth are not really looking so nice so the cloth is the reason why i apply this oil filter to it so that it's really going to look so nice and amazing so after applying the oil filter i make a duplicate of the layer so that i can have a backup of what i want to do but it's not that really a backup but something just really happened so i just use that as a backup now after applying the oil filter it's not really looking so nice the cloth so i go back into the smart object and i grab the smudge tool and i smudge the cloth or you can just smudge the cloth directly from your main document but i just want to keep everything in a high res document so i go back into the smart filter and i smudge some part of the cloth It's too late now, I remember you and me And how careless we yeah. be All day and all night We'd stay up, it felt so right We were so young, we were so dumb We would get drunk and then hook up We were okay, we were alright Staying awake till the sunrise We were in love, couldn't stop us Like a good drug, yeah. never run off. We hook up in my car, driving so far Play your guitar, you'd show me your heart Let down our guards, think with our hearts Stare at the stars, we were never apart Drinking too young, way too much fun Out in the sun, open when it's gone Took you to prom Dance to our song, dance all night long till the lights come on
remember everything And how careless we could be And how careless we could be And you know I make her fucking wetter than Jaws in the water to restore me weather Than Calvin Harris the opposing gender Poor Gore's got to talk, so you better get her She on that pole like dip flow. I got a sick hoe, she likes dip flow. Like Dylan Francis like to get low Relax on, hold low, I got a sick flow I can make any beat just like Skrillex I swear I can make just a beaver feel And I can make kicked up, really wanna steal it Then I can make Scooter Brown, but it's time to deal with it Yeah, so what? Uh, getting lit like we will sparks And we coming up like the modern day Mozart Yeah, we getting lucky with the ladies like we're Daft Punk This is how we party rehab, it's a slam dunk we hear you G easy, man. This shit ain't fucking random. Oops, not a DJ, but that motherfucker's handsome. About to be derude and turn this beat into a sandstorm. About to switch it up and make this motherfucker transform. Transform, 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 Turn up my speakers like the average jack You where are you now when I need you jack You I'm all alone like a marshmallow Hey just try to block me like a remix hello Don't let me down like the chain smoke Cause let's take a selfie baby get in closer I'm a vet in this game call me T.S. to win Just like Zed working with the best ones I'm just playing let's be respectful Under control like my man Alessa I can make your girl sing bird machine Yeah DJ Snake knows what I mean And lastly you know I'ma steal a show Like Kygo's first team Firestone uh, Yeah so what uh, getting lit like we will sparks And we coming up like the modern day Mozart Yeah we getting lucky with the ladies like we're deaf this is how we party rehab, it's a slam dunk We hear you G, easy man, this shit ain't fucking random Oops, not a DJ, but that motherfucker's handsome About to be derude and turn this beat into a sandstorm About to switch it up and make this motherfucker transform Transform, 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 transform <laughs> Nah, fuck that.
Uh, burn that shit like a major laser Earn that shit like major paper I melt that beat like a fucking getter But you know I do it fucking better And you know I make her fucking wetter Than Jaws in the water to restore me weather Than Calvin Harris the opposing gender Four chords got to die